Hello everybody, quick update on this Anschutz 380. First I thought the inletting hadn't been done enough. Then I succumbed to peer pressure and came to realize that it was the forearm wasn't tall enough. But then upon due reflection and further examination, I decided to try inletting it in a little bit. And it took only a couple tiny adjustments for the action to drop in and fit perfectly. The, um, the, the thing here in the trigger assembly that pushes on the lever that releases the sear uh, prior, it barely caught that lever right on the end of it. And now it's like at a comfortable spot. Well, I didn't investigate to see if there's any wear mark from where it might have originally been sitting, but it seems like it's in a nice place. And I don't think I have screws for this. It uh, looks like they're M6 by 0.8, so a fine thread and not a hardware store find, and I don't have any in my box. So I would like to be able to tighten the action up into the wood and bed it, but I don't have to have it. I, I can clamp it and just make sure visually that the holes are lined up, so it's not a big deal. Um, I opened up the sides of the inletting a little bit, and maybe I think it was necessary. I, I always wonder. It's very difficult to find it, to figure out where the wood is touching, but uh, it's actually a very close fit now, but I'll want to glass bed that and make that be perfect. And then uh, I don't know if these uh, barrels original were free floated like this appears to be, but it's uh, kind of a pleasing look um, the way it is, or I could bet it. I, I think if I were to do a custom stock for this gun, I would leave the uh, top of the forearm at this height here where it has to be for this plastic piece in the back and the cocking lever, but then uh, come up at some point and intercept the midpoint of the steel. And then on the other side, I would probably um, try to make this come up higher and catch the midpoint of the steel here also. I um, have to check the width, it's pretty big, you know, see if it would fit in a blank, but that would be just kind of an idea I think I would have uh, doing something custom. Now I don't know, maybe the original factory stock did have two different height levels. Uh, one here for the this plastic piece back here on the cocking arm and, and a higher level for the rest of the action. That, that could very well be. So anyway, I, uh, I think this is uh, going to be the solution for what this stock needed. So I think it's going to be a shooter. Oh, the other thing is, hold on a minute, let me get this separated. This piece, um, the cheek riser hardware. Couple things. One is uh, look, it must have been very challenging to install with the springs, um, with just little tiny um, spring guides here. So they used a piece of duct tape. That that's fine. Uh, I might see if I can put a little dollop of epoxy on the end of these, um, so that you got to snap the spring over them and they kind of hold on on their own. But the main issue with this is isn't this curious how the mechanism uh, sticks so far out to the side. So then what happened is the wood got paper thin here because of that. So when we're finishing, I mean, one, this is just, um, it's probably going to get destroyed at some point. And when we're finishing, we may sand through it. Uh, my idea is to sand down, or maybe mill down, but this appears to be um, cast, probably a kind of crap material. I might just sand it down um, and, you know, take the height of this down a little bit and then glass bed it to fit thereby filling this uh, super thin piece of wood up with a with a thick layer of uh, glass reinforced uh, resin so that's the idea for that I think that's all I have to report this time thanks for watching